Hey guys, Saints Gaming here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a tycoon. This may be uh, multiple episodes, I don't know, but uh, let's hope it's not and just get straight to it. So first, you know, do anything you want with the world. Usually before I start building, I want to think creative, so I make a grass. You do not have to do this, but if you want, you can. So there we go, got a nice base plate. So what you want to do is open up your toolbox. Just scroll down or search it up. It's going to be uh, this kit right here. We're going to be using um, this guy's tycoon kit, um, Bazura. I don't know how to say his name, but I really don't care. Alright, so here we go. We got his kit. This is going to teach you how to make his tycoon. If you don't know uh, what he was doing in his video or you don't know what like how to read, or I'm sure you know how to read, but you didn't understand, you need like a voice tutorial, then here's one. I'm going to be going over everything. So first, you're going to open up your Explorer and your Properties. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be opening up the Tycoon Kit, and we're going to delete the thing that says Delete Me. This is just going to delete the uh, thumbnail. Okay, so if the Tycoon comes titled, if this tycoon comes titled, except for bright, bright blue, you're just gonna delete it and just read that. It's never happened to me though. Alright, so what we're gonna wanna do, first up, we're going to make it exactly how we want it to look, okay? So this means if we wanna make new droppers, make new anything, okay? So I do have my other tycoon up. This is what the other tycoon turned out to be. I'm not done with it yet, my new custom droppers, all from this. So I'm just going to quickly do this with some um with some C frame. I'm just gonna quickly, you know, build a tycoon. Right. So, <clears throat> while I do this, you're probably already done with yours. You probably think, oh, I already have my tycoon how I want it after you got this. So, I'm just, I'm not going to do much work on this. I'm just going to extend the walls maybe and I just want to recolor the floor. Alright, let's say I'm done with my tycoon. This is how I want it to look. Okay, so now that you have your tycoon how you want it, you know, if you want to make your own dropper, delete everything but these two, okay? And then, let's say I want to make a new dropper. Let's say I just didn't like how this dropper looked. I thought it looked like crap. just didn't want it, okay? So as you see, I deleted the upgrader one. All it has is the upgrader block and the upgrader script. So... Right now, I can just make my own upgrader. So just run my upgrader like a big block. Then all I have to do is take this piece and put it back in upgrader one and there. Okay, we have a new upgrader. All right, so that's how you make a new upgrader. Now, if you wanna make more upgraders, like you wanna duplicate some upgraders, what you can do is just take this, control C, control V, oops, oh my god, copy, paste it in the workspace, we're gonna, oops, I'm just gonna move this over, let's say I wanted it right here. Okay, maybe I just didn't want this, I just wanted it green. Okay, so let's say I wanted to make a new upgrader. But, as you can see, if I would start the Tycoon, this upgrader would automatically be here. Because it doesn't have a button showing that something's here. What we're going to want to do is number one, 
cut out the upgrader, put it in the purchases, and paste it back into. Okay, so as you now we have two upgraded ones. That's a problem because once you um like when you want it, you know how you want it. Like you want the uh, you want this upgrader to be here, fully functional. You have to name it something different. So we're gonna name it upgrader two to define that is is the second upgrader. If you want it so it makes more money, right here. Uh, when the dropper button thing hits the upgrader, automatically is gonna hit two. So that's why we want to hit like five or four. Okay, so it actually upgrades. Now here comes the button. Okay, so we're going to come into the buttons and duplicate a button. See, I wouldn't duplicate any of these. I would duplicate the walls, the upgrader walls, the conveyor walls. Nope, not this one. Uh, I've upgraded the by by the color the colonizer because this has a dependency which means it will wait until the block before it is bought so no one can buy this before they buy the first upgrader which people don't like to do and it's pretty stupid so now that we have this let's just rename it by um upgrader two let's say we wanted it for like this is 25 so let's say we want it for like 100 so we're going to come into dependency the dependency is going to be upgrader1 or anything else that's before it. The object is going to be upgrader2 since we are going to make it upgrader2 and the price is going to be 100. Now we're going to put the buttons inside the button column and now this is a part of the tycoon. So let's say I wanted to put a spawn right here. I wasn't using C frame. Um, let's say I just wanted to put a spawn right here and test it out. You can see that the upgrader is gone until I buy the first upgrader. The dropper, mine. doesn't work for me sometimes it's all right so once I hit what what am I at 22 all right so 40 and then boom here's second upgrader so I have to get a hundred you can see my money's rising pretty fast now a hundred thirty a hundred thirteen and boom see that's how you make another object into the um into the tycoon so what you're going to do is again just make a new object let's say you didn't want to make an upgrader let's say you're making like a tower so let's say uh i'm just going to do a quick thing you probably want to make yours because you don't want to be called like a person that uses free models i wouldn't say it's always bad but it's not always good so let's say i want to buy a ferrari okay where'd the ferrari go let's say i want to buy a ferrari I'm gonna name it a Ferrari. Right. I'm just gonna place it right here. Okay, and then we're gonna put it in the purchases. This is what they're gonna be buying. Okay. Then we're gonna get a dependency. If you don't want a dependency, you don't have to have one. But it just makes your game look better. I'm gonna make it just like the conveyor walls without a dependency. I'm gonna name it by a uh, car. Dollars. The object is the Ferrari. It is case sensitive, so um, just want to watch that. Put this in the buttons, and boom. Let's say I want to play, the Ferrari will be there. So, by the dropper, by the mine. And boom, Ferrari. That is how you add a uh, new objects, and sometimes objects won't work, so you have to add like a new one. Sometimes they will work. Sometimes things like this break. As you can see, sometimes it breaks, sometimes it doesn't. So you have to just watch out what you're adding in. Um, <clears throat> let's see what's next. Okay, so we have the tycoon done. We have how to add things. 
Um, that should be here. Hmm. Take your kit. How to add things. How to customize things. Oh, if you want to dive through objects, like you see how I can can't click it, and then I can click it. Oops. I can click like certain objects. Hold down Alt to uh. get through like a certain objects like the dive through the um the group just to click a certain object so um as you can see out of this little kit i've made this multiple upgraders these three don't work since they don't have buttons as if i would click play you would see them here okay and the tower Oh, and the dropper. The dropper broke. But you can see things that are already broken, things that are not broken. Because some have buttons, some just break. And I know why this is here. I probably know why. If, which one was it? Dropper 3? Uh... Oh, it's not letting me collect anything or click anything. But uh. so that's how you make a tycoon. <laughs> how long was this? About only eleven minutes. All right. Well, this is how you make a tycoon with the um, tycoon kit. If you have any questions, just ask. Oh, oh my God! I almost forgot how to add more tycoons. So let's say you finish your tycoon and you want to add more. What you're gonna want to do is duplicate the tycoons okay go into the tycoon folder duplicate the tycoon here's not that <laughs> go into copy and duplicate a tycoon right okay so duplicate this one all right this is how you duplicate tycoons copy and paste it and then sorry that the phone's ringing it's probably really annoying um, you copy paste it, but then you have to name it something different, and it can only be named colors. So, and colors are case sensitive. So now let's say I would produce this game, and we can go play it. And let's say we want to go play it. Go how to make a tycoon. Click play. There will be um two tycoons you can add as many as you want make sure that you just don't go out of the color range because you must name it colors you cannot name it anything else it's, it's weird i don't know why uh if you could name something else i'll tell you how to do it maybe i'll like voice over something um well, as you can see there are two teams the blue team and the new yellow team they look exactly the same Except for the VIP door, which I'll show you how to do next. But I see the spawns also change colors. So it indicates that it's a new team. They don't get mixed up with money. And, yep. I have to come back over here. How to make VIP. For VIP, um, to sell it, you're going to need BC. But let's say this was the... Let's make a quick house. If you want to know how I'm uh, duplicating things inside each other, you have to have this um, this type of C-frame, and you could click uh, Shift C, and it duplicates inside each other. It 
if you have any questions, um, you can message me or just leave a comment below, and I would quickly respond or as soon as I could to the question. I am sometimes busy. I do make games for people, or thumbnails and clothing and all that. So sometimes I would uh, respond late, but I'll do it as fast as I could. Alright, there we go. Nice VIP room. Okay, so, let's say you have a VIP room and you like want to have it for purchase. So you're going to go into Game Essentials, BG Door, and the Door Script. No, not Door Script. Um, the, the Configuration. Okay, so if you want certain groups to come in here, uh, you put your group ID, which mine would be 1241214. But I'm not going to do that. If you want to kill on touch, you say yes, which automatically kills them. So if they go to it, it kills them. If you don't want to, it bounces them back. Go boom. Or I think respawns them. One of the two. Now, game passes. This is what you're going to do. So you're going to come to the game. You're going to create. No, not a badge. Oops. Come to the game. Going to create a game pass. Alright, so you're gonna come here, you know, you're just gonna make the pass. So let's say I wanted um, this, and uh, right, we're gonna upload it, we're gonna get the ID, copy, we're gonna paste the ID here. Now I think for this to work, um, only you would be able to go in it unless you have the BC so you can sell it. So sell item. All right, here we go. So now I could join back or Alt P if you want to know how to save the game without having to go all the way up here and that or that just click all p save it one more time all right let's come back to this game click play all right now that we're here let's just turn over to the vip should buy some. Yep. See? That's how you make VIP. And that's how you pretty much make a tycoon. So let's see what you can build with this thing. Uh, thanks to the creator of the tycoon. Um, that's how I make all of my tycoons. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a question, message me on either Roblox or just comment on the video. Uh, we will be doing videos a lot, live streams, we do all that now, so, you know, we can all have fun, talk to each other, just have a whole bunch of fun, <laughs> the car broke again, so, um, yeah, uh, see you guys in the next one, um, uh, yep, bye, bye, <laughs> okay, have a, yep, alright, bye. Oh, look at that. Under 20 minutes.